A lot of people have heard about some of the wet, extreme weather we've had in Iowa, and certainly Northwest Iowa was an extreme, and hearts go out to all the people up there affected by the flooding. By and large, though, the state had a lot more moisture than it's had in recent years, and that brought humidity levels up out in these fields and enlist. I tell you, performance was just exceptional. So I just, I, I want to highlight the importance of an adjuvant, even in a year like this, where we had moisture and methylate seed oil treatments still separate themselves out, whether it's Enlist Liberty MSO or Enlist Glyphosate methylate seed oil, they rise to the top and it's our number one adjuvant recommendation. And as you and I know, you know Enlist, we never recommend it alone. We always talk multiple modes of action. Consequently, with the good growing conditions, growers were chasing some pretty big water hemp this year. In spite of that, Enlist with glyphosate or Enlist with glufosinate, or even the three-way Enlist Gly Glue performed really, really well. And Enlist Corn, there's going to be a bunch of excitement building on this. I'm serious. And the reason is, is it's water hemp again. Even though we put on some great pre-emergence products, we still have water hemp that we deal with post-emergence. And unfortunately, some of this water hemp is getting resistance to some of the classes of chemistries out there. And so today, growers are using dicamba on these acres. You know, those are wonderful tools for killing weeds, but they don't stay put. And so we're still having those dicamba issues of product moving off target. With Enlist, you don't have to worry about that. As you know, Enlist has near zero volatility, but extremely excited about Enlist corn, the best corn insect trait package with the best herbicide package. And now the ability to go out there and spray your corn at up to 30 inches with a quart of Enlist. Wow, it's game changing. So I would like to coach and counsel people about the application excellence getting the best results out of our E3 soybeans and now our, our Enlist corn. I see sprayers going by too fast. I see booms too high. I see, you know, just scenarios of spraying two o'clock in the afternoon and there's bright sun and the wind blowing. We have to ask ourselves why when it doesn't perform as optimally as we like. And it comes down to 95, 99% of the time, it comes down to application, things that are within our control.